boys and girls, happy Sabbath. I am so excited to be here with you for another Nature Nugget. All right, so this week's Nature Nugget animal is super exciting, and I can't wait to share with you some really fun facts. But before we get started, how about we open our Bibles and see if we can find a clue in our Bibles about this week's Nature Nugget animal. The Bible clue comes from Romans 12, 16, and it says, Live in harmony with one another. So these animals are really great about living in harmony. Hmm. Well, let's go over our clues. Clue number one was, they live in large family groups. And clue number two, they are excellent at digging. Hmm. So they live in harmony. They live in large family groups. And they are excellent at digging. I wonder what this animal could be. That's right! This week's Nature Nugget animal is the meerkat. So a meerkat is a weasel-like animal that is a member of the mongoose family. Meerkats live in underground burrows in large mobs of up to 40 animals. The mob has a dominant female and male, their offspring and other adult members. Meerkats are good at digging, but usually live in burrows dug by other animals. They use about 15 holes to get in and out of their tunnels. The tunnels can be over 6 feet deep to stay in cool African Kahari Desert. Their burrow has toilet and sleeping chambers. Meerkats have territories which overlap other mobs so there is a lot of fighting. A mob's predator includes the jackals, eagles, and fal falcons. To stay safe, adults take turns being the guard while the others find food. The guard climbs to a high place and announces the beginning of guard duty with a special call. If it sees a predator, the guard alerts the mob with a bark or whistle depending on where the predator is coming from. The meerkats run for the nearest bolt hole, large enough to hold a crowd of meerkats. How about we take a second and listen to what a meerkat sounds like. So what did you guys think about the meerkat sound? Me too. I Let's learn some more fun things. Once the sun is up, did you know meerkats come out of their burrows to sunbathe and groom? Meerkats lie on their backs and get warmed by the sun or roll over on a rock to cool down. Once warm, they forage for food all day. They return to the main burrow to sleep at night. Meerkats have many adaptations to help them live in their habitat. They have dark patches around their eyes that help with the sun's glare. They have clear eyelids that cover their eyes and ears that close to keep sand out while burrowing. They have four toes and long claws on each foot. These claws and strong hind legs help them to climb trees. Their bodies are about 14 to 20 inches long, with almost 10 inches of tail. The meerkat uses its tail to balance when standing. Each meerkat's pattern of stripes is unique. They have less hair on their bellies that shows their black skin. Meerkats can smell their prey hiding underground. They dig quickly to find insects, spiders, snails, birds, eggs, and scorpions. Sometimes the mob works together to kill and eat a large lizard. Meerkats don't need to drink. They get their water from eating roots, tubers, and melons. Now let's talk about the baby meerkats. Did you know meerkats have a very matriarchal society? which means the females are large and in charge. The dominant female can have several litters of pups a year, and pups are what they call their babies. She can have one to eight pup at a time, but usually she only has about three or four. Hairless pups are born with their eyes and ears closed. Their mother nurses them with her milk. She needs food so she can make milk, so some adults stay behind to care for and protect her pups while she leaves them. After two weeks, their eyes open. After three weeks, they start eating food that the adults bring them, 
like insects and lizards or a scorpion without its tail so they can uh, practice hunting without getting hurt. When they are four weeks old, the pups can leave their den. The guard calls out a warning and the babysitter takes the pups into a burrow or defends them if needed. Pups make a peeping sound when playing and they purr when they're content. They become adults at about a year and a half old. Meerkats live about eight years in the wild. Meerkats are wonderful little creatures. They are very sociable and such good team players. Meerkats remind us that we each have our own part to play in our families by working together for the good of everyone. So here are three questions I want you to ask yourself to help you remember to be like the harmonious meerkat. Question one. Ask ourselves, do we grumble about our chores, thinking that they are unfair? Question number two. Are we doing our very best to make everyone in the ha family happy? And the last question is, do we do little favors for each other just because we want to? So let's remember to let the meerkats remind us that our families are strongest when we all work together in love. And remember, like the beautiful book Steps to Christ talks about, we can learn more about Jesus and nature when we look at the green fields, the flowers, the passing cloud. All of it speaks to our heart and invites us to become acquainted with Jesus who made them all, including the very harmonious meerkat. All right, boys and girls, here are your clues for next week's Nature Nugget Animal. Clue number one, they're the smallest bird in the world. And clue number two, they weigh less than a dime. All right, boys and girls, best of luck. And I hope you have a wonderful week. And I can't wait to see you again next week for another Nature Nugget. Bye!